Hello and welcome to a Stardew Valley how-to video. Today we're going to be talking about chickens, and more specifically, your first chicken. Shortly after moving into your new farm, you'll receive a journal request from Robin, advising you to construct a building to raise animals in. Chickens are a great first animal for new farmers, being relatively easy to care for and providing a small amount of income each day in the form of eggs. Normal chickens come in three colors, white, brown, and blue. You can later obtain void chickens, but they require a random event to occur on your farm, which will result in one of your existing chickens being turned to the dark side. Blue chickens are also only available after befriending Shane and experiencing the proper heart event. The color of chicken is purely aesthetic and determined at random when purchasing a chicken, or based on the egg in which a chicken has hatched from. The happier your chickens are, the higher quality of eggs you will receive from them each morning, and the more money you'll receive by selling them. In order to ensure you have happy chickens, there are a few precautionary steps you should take before bringing them to your farm. Step 1. Location. Begin planning early on where you'd like your chicken coop to be located. Don't worry too much about the exact location of the coop though, as all farm buildings can later be moved. On sunny days, you can open the door of your coop to let your chickens roam around and eat grass on your farm. This greatly increases their mood and keeps them happy. Grass starters can be purchased at Pierre's General Store or the Joja Mart. Grass spreads naturally over time, but make sure there's enough grass to start with or else your chickens will eat the grass faster than it can grow. Chickens will return to the coop by 6pm each day as long as there is a valid path back and the door is still open. Fencing in your coop is completely optional, but ensures that your chickens stay in one area and safely make it home each evening. If a chicken is unable to return and is left outside overnight, there is a chance that the chicken will be removed from your farm completely, and the remaining chickens will become frightened. The coop itself has a 6x3 footprint and can only be placed on land that is not tilled and has nothing else on it. This includes stones, branches, trees, and even your cat or dog if they happen to be in the wrong location at the time you are attempting to build it. The coop itself costs 4,000 gold, 300 lumber, and 100 stones to construct, so it's a bit of an investment, but a few dozen parsnips and strawberries will get you there. After you have purchased the coop, it will take Robin a few days to actually build it. Robin will not make progress on any buildings during holidays. During this time, I recommend gathering 100 stone, 10 clay, and 5 copper bars, and I'll explain why in a second. Our coop is now complete, but there is still one more thing to take care of before we actually purchase our first chicken. On rainy days and during the winter, chickens will not leave the coop and will need to be fed hay indoors. You can purchase hay for 50 gold apiece, but it's extremely cost inefficient, so we will want to build a silo so that we can make our own hay. Once again, it will take a couple of days for Robin to complete the silo, but once finished, cutting grass with a scythe will have a chance to store hay in the silo. It is also important to note that chickens will need a heater to make it through the winter. Heaters can be purchased from Marnie for 2,000 gold and placed anywhere within the coop. Now that the coop is finished and we have hay in the silo, it is finally time to purchase our first chicken. Speak with Marnie and purchase a chicken for 800 gold. Once you've decided on a name, it will be delivered to your coop. The chicken will start as a young chick and will mature in a couple of days. Once mature, your chicken will provide you with an egg each day. Remember to pet your chicken each day and provide it with food on rainy days. And that's about all you need to know to raise happy and productive chickens. I hope you found this guide helpful, and let me know what you named your first chicken in the comment section below. Happy farming everyone!